Unit G, Excel 2012, on page 148, Entering Labels and Values. Begin reading from Entering Data in a Worksheet all the way to the end of You Decide to Enter the Labels and Values. When you are done reading the paragraph, continue with this tutorial. Continuing from Navigating a Workbook, on page 146, we have the file G Kite Sales Forecast open. In cell A1, so we click cell A1, we type the word product. I'll zoom in so you can see this better. As you type, the text appears in cell A1 and the formula bar, as shown in figure G-3. The text you typed is a label that describes the first column of data in the worksheet. Press the tab key. Pressing the tab accepts your entry and activates the next cell in, row in the row, cell B1. The name box shows B1 as the active cell you need to type two more labels. Type net price and then press tab and then type year one units. Year one units is too long to fit in cell C1 although it extends in the, into cell D1 it is actually contained that means it's if we type something else into here we won't see the T and the S. For example, if I put the number 1, T and S disappears. So to fix this problem, we can do one of two things. Between C and D, if we move our cursor, the arrow points to two arrows pointing at both C and D. We can either double click and it will fill out with a little bit of padding just enough space so that we can see everything in C or you can also when the arrows separate you can click and hold and drag and if you notice right above you see width 10.5 and 81 pixels and we can scale that while holding the left mouse button down and if we release it scales I prefer to double click because it's much quicker. Let's continue. Press the enter key. Now we're going to select is A2. So with your arrows keys, with your arrow keys, press over to A2. You need to type a kite product name in this cell. Type Apache Delta. And then press the down key. Cell A3 is now active. Pressing the down key accepted the cell entry and moved the cell pointer to the cell below. Type Volcano Blaster. Press enter. Type Tornado Twirler. press enter type whirling delta press enter type rocket stunt man press enter type soaring eagle and then press enter once again you have typed all the product names cell 8a is now active. You need to make an edit to one of the names. Double click cell A4. There are two ways to edit a cell. One, you can double click the cell and make the changes in here. And two, 
you can actually edit it up in the functions formula. Since I want to edit it without any mistake, I'm going to do it up in the functions formula. Instead of twirler, I'm going to highlight this or delete twirler. And for number eight, we're going to type in, or for this one, we're going to type in trickster. And click the check mark or press enter. So now we have an A4 tornado trickster. Click cell B2 and type 15.75. Notice that Apache Delta is now hidden. Press the right arrow key and type in 7500 or 7500. You have now entered a value into the year one units for the Apal Apache Delta kite in cell C2. Enter the rest of the figures from the chart G4 on page 149 for ranges B3 through C7. So we'll do that now. For B for B3, type 22.25. Press enter. Then again, type 22.25. Press enter. Type 26.75. 29.75 and 39.25. We now use the arrow keys, or I'm going to use the arrow keys, and I'm going to go up to C3. From here we type 10,000, so 10000. Zero, 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 zero. And then we type 1200, 12123. So three zeros. 7500, 75, zero, 00. I like to say 1, 2 when I'm typing or counting consecutively up when I'm pressing in a pressing in the same number. So for zeros, I would think in my head 1, 2, 3 if I know what it is. And then again, 7500, finally, 5000. and then make sure to save your work there's two ways to save your work actually three ways you can go to the shortcut up here which is save and if, if you notice a pop-up appears that says save the shortcut is control s I prefer to use control s so you can do it here press control s or you can go up here to save I'm gonna push control s which is easier for me and that ends entering labels and values.